Okay, so what we're first going to do is now that I have the libraries loaded, we're going to move into section one here, getting the stock list. So this is going to be uh, the list of stocks that we're going to put into a drop down and the user will end up selecting from one of these stocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the function TQ index and I'm just going to show you what this does. And this comes from the tidyquant package. So um, if I just put SP uh, SP 500 and if I hit control and enter, what this does is it creates a um, or pulls in a data frame with the holdings for the S&P 500 index. So we've got the symbol, the company, uh, and the weight and sector information and the shares held. Um, so the weight and shares held, that actually comes from the SPY index, uh, which is the, um, the spider uh, index. Uh, or I should say the, the spider ED, ETF. So that's where what this weight and shares held means. But for our purposes, what we're interested in is creating a list of stocks that the user can select from. And what we want to do is we want to combine the symbol and company columns to create a descriptive field uh, that can be used for a drop down that, that the user can search on. If they type in the symbol name or the company name, uh, it'll, it'll hone in on, on them. So how we're going to do that it's just a simple data manipulation operation. What we're going to do is we're going to select first the columns that, that we need. So we're going to select the symbol and the company columns. So symbol and company. And when I do that, it's uh, we now have just the symbol and the company columns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first arrange by the symbol. Uh, and that's always a good idea when we're when you're making lists for your users. That way it's just an alphabetical order. Uh, it just makes searching a little bit easier. And then next what I'm going to do is we're going to take the symbol and the company column and combine the two. So I'm going to add a mutate to add a new column. And I'm going to create a label column. So the column name will be label. And we're going to use the function str. Uh, str underscore c from the stringer package and we're going to take the symbol and company columns and we're going to combine them with a separator of a comma and a space okay so when i run this what it does is it creates a label and what we can do is then use that label in our drop down so the label is the only column that we need uh, and I'm just going to take, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use select label. Okay, so when I do this, we now have just a label of values that the user will be able to select from. So this is going to be our stock list. So I'm going to save this as stock underscore list underscore TBL for Tibble. I'm just going to hit control and enter. And that's going to be our stock list tibble for our analysis. Just make sure it saved. So stock list tibble. And it looks like it did. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we want to, we don't want to have, we want to minimize the amount of code that's going to be in our web app. So what I want to do is I actually want to modularize this. So I want to convert this into a function that I can just call whenever I want the stock list. Um, and our app's only actually going to call this once, so, um, so it's it's not going to be a reactive function, but it will still help us improve the um, the amount of code and reduce the amount of code that's in our our uh, application. So I'm going to create a function called get stock list alt dash, and that's just going to be a function. And it's going to take an argument called stock index. And then what we're going to do is basically just take this piece of code here. I'm going to control C to copy it, paste that in here. And instead of the having SP 500 and what, what we can do is we can set this equal to SP 500 by default. And I'm going to replace this in here with 
stock underscore index. Okay. So now if I control enter to send this to the console, we should say that we should now see this up in our global environment. We have, we now have this function called get stock list and we can test it out. So this function TQ index can actually take different um, stock indices. So the stock indice that we're going to use is the S&P 500, but we could actually test it on say something else. So if I use this function called TQ uh, index options, this will give us all of the different options that we can use for our stock list or our TQ index. So let's try a different one. We can try Dow. So if I do, if I write get stock list, if I type in Dow in here, I now have the labels for 30 of the stocks that are in the Dow. And then we can do the same thing for the get stock list, SP 500, and hit control and enter. And now we have 505. So this is all of the stock lists for the S&P 500.